Hello beautiful dreamers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about lionfish. I got a new lionfish. I didn't have that great experience with my previous lionfish because it only lived two days and then it But we got a new one and I'm going to show you my beautiful baby because she's doing much better. Can he, she, I don't know. Alright, let's get into the video of my baby. This is Giselle, my dwarf zebra lionfish. Here she comes. I said it was a girl, so I went with Giselle. Now when they sold me this fish, the receipt said a dwarf fuzzy lionfish. And then I believed it was a dwarf fuzzy lionfish until someone corrected me that it was not. But it doesn't matter, I still love you. Okay, so, lionfish. Obviously, a saltwater fish. And, of course, they are venomous. See those spines right there? About 13 of them on the top are venomous. There's also a few fin a few fins. A few spines on the pectoral fins. my lighting <laughs> that are also venomous I think the, the first two or first three I'm not sure and then in the back near the anal fin there are a few more little spines ready, ready to poke someone okay that is cute that was adorable you're adorable my heart's melted. You can sting me any day. <laughs> now for tank size. This is a 55 gallon, what I have. And the recommended minimal, minimum, <laughs> whatever, tank size is uh, 30 gallons. And they do eat, well they can if they want, your fish. If it's in their mouth, they're going to eat it. But, with lionfish such as this, they are very picky in the beginning. And she refuses to eat anything other than live ghost shrimp. I tried feeding her clam. What else did I try feeding you? Frozen shrimp. Squid, octopus. I tried silver side fish dipped in garlic because that's what the fish store said they were feeding her, but she refused. She's like, Nope, I want the chocolate. She did eat a cricket. I don't know if crickets are good for them or not, but I have crickets and sometimes they go in my tank and they drown. And she ate it. But only that once. She wouldn't eat it again. So it's very hard to wean them to eat paired food. Why do you have to go to the dark side of the tank? Let's <laughs> put some light back on you. A lot of lions, lions fish. I can't even speak. A lot of lion fish do starve to death. Because they can be so picky in the beginning. Though there's also plenty of people who have been successful into weaning them into frozen food. Aren't they beautiful? 
and I believe she will only get about seven inches. And she's very observant. If I come to the tank, she'll come see what I'm doing. And then she really likes the starfish. She just stares at them sometimes. Or like, see, she's staring at Jellypuff. She's like, why are you going up and down like a maniac? And then if I put food in there, this is staring at this one. It's like, why are you up and down? Like I said, she's very observant. But yeah, she likes to look at the starfish. Why are you hanging like that? You are a weirdo. Thought you were dead for a second. And then I saw all your little tentacles moving. It's doing a backbend. You ever seen a starfish do a backbend? You have now. Where'd you go? And then she likes to rest on stuff, like on the rocks. She'll hit, that's her favorite cave. She'll hang upside down on the rock and use her pectoral fins. And one time I saw her walking on the sand. She was using her fins to walk on the sand like some type of a weird goby. Like you. Alright, so I think that's pretty much for care. Just don't be afraid of owning them. And they're not as scary as they seem. If you get stung, they say it feels like a bee sting, which hurts. So I wouldn't want to get stung on purpose. Though I, I still do put my hand in there to clean the tank. And so then she's very curious and will come see what I'm doing. But I just move my hand away and just, you know, shoot her away. And then she'll mind her own business because she is super nosy. Like Meowth. Meowth super nosy. She wants to know what's going on. Alright, Giselle. You want to come here? Come say bye. I very clean my glass and it looks pretty. See, so she can't even say bye. She's cool like that. It's like a little puppy. You're my pup. My pup pup. You're so beautiful, Giselle. You're so cute. <laughs> I love her fins. And mouth is too. I just clean that glass, girl. Better not be touching it. Okay, now you're just being cute. She's like, I'm not touching the glass, I'm rubbing my ear. <laughs> so I hope this video was informative if you too want to buy a lionfish. And all I have to say is don't be scared of owning one. They aren't that hard to take care of. And we all learn from research and experience. So, like I said, do your research. Research is the best way to go. And that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. So thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.